Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are on ACC, so of course I come to Jenny today. We're going to be starting a new mini series. Uh, maybe do all of the tracks. Um, we are on Silverstone GP today for a track guide. Uh, as you can see in the Bentley GT3. Right, let's just quickly jump onto the track. Right guys, let's get into the last corner and we'll start the track guide. I'll try and add as much as I know and what I do on track to get my lap time. I'm not an alien by any stretch of the means, but my times are getting a lot better now. Now that I'm spending some time on the game rather than just a day here and a day there. But here we go. Right, I like to keep it nice and tight into the last corner. Plug in the line or mount the kerb. Waiting for the grip, waiting for the feel. Open up the wheel angle. Let's go all the way out to the left, accelerate hard. On the right hand side here, we can mount the kerb. Literally with all a car like that, just to shorten the distance. Accelerating all the way into fifth gear on this, the Bentley. Now, just before the 50, that's where I'll break about here into fourth. Not very hard breaking, and then coast right in the curb on the right hand side. As soon as you feel it get back on the power, and you can use a bit of the curb on the left hand side. Come over to the right to miss the curb just about there, the bump, sorry, not the curb. And then in fifth gear, we'll ride this kerb on the left, missing the sausage kerb, staying in fifth. Then into the middle of the track, coming across diagonally. Here is where I'll drop it down to fourth, riding this kerb on the left hand side. Into third, riding the kerb on the right hand side. You can gain so much time by using these kerbs. Once you feel the grip again, get on the power, third gear up to fourth, up to fifth. Using the least line of resistance, the shortest distance. Might need sixth in some cars, I'm not too sure. After the bump, just before the kerb, that's where I'll start to break into fourth, into third to rotate the car. Riding the kerb on the right hand side, and then as soon as you feel the grip once again, get on the power you can use. Pretty much a lot of the kerb there, to be honest. Half of the car over it is what I tend to do. Get in fourth gear now. Break at the start of the kerb, down into second, lift off, let it coast, don't touch the sausage kerb on the left, because it will make your car jump. Try and ride the kerb on the right hand side. Exit and into third. Just as you get to about here, that's where I change up to four, just to stabilise the back of the car as you accelerate out the corner, through the corner. Leaving it in fourth gear in the Bentley, I use the kerb on the left hand side and a bit of the tarmac. I give it a slight bit of a lift off to turn in, riding the kerb on the right, still 4th gear, at the apex of the left hand corner for myself, that's where I'll change up into 5th, if we need to, but once again it just stabilises the back of the car. At the start of the kerb on the left hand side, that's where I'll brake, down into 3rd, into 2nd just before the turn in. I'll lift off, let it coast, missing the sausage kerb on the right, keeping it about here to the centre of the track. So you get your optimum turn in. Down into first gear, missing that raised red kerb on the left hand side, using the white and black kerb. Opening up the steering angle as soon as possible, because your car will get loose here, it does step out quite a lot on the on the traction. So up to second, up to third, accelerate hard. This left hander you can cut the green tarmac, so use quite a lot of that, but watching out for the grass. As you hear, it just gives it a little bump. Accelerating very hard. Fully flat. All the way up into fifth gear. Some cars may be sick, depending on some cars in the Bentley, it hits in fifth gear. Start to ride the kerb on the right hand side to open the track up. Around about here, just before the arrow marker on the right hand side. That is where I'll start to brake. Down to fourth. Down to third. Down to. I'll leave it into third to about here, and then I'll drop it into second off power, just to rotate the car so I can get that line. Riding the kerb, keeping it in second gear, once again keeping it tight to the kerb. Kerb or the white line I tend to stay on. You can run wide to get a better drive out of the exit, but I like to stay tight to get on the power earlier. Self-preference, self-preference I think. Coming all the way over to the left hand side, using the kerb, accelerating as hard as possible. Once again, we'll cut this turn on the right hand side, this light bend. Pull it like that, pull the throttle. And accelerate over there, hopefully for a good lap time. Well, mate, that's the fastest lap. 
Right guys, that has been my very first track guide ever. I've always wanted to do it, but I've never got around to it. Or never had the confidence to do it. Um, there we go, there's my track guide. Like and comment down below if you agree with some of the things I've said. Or tell me what you do differently. Or even let me know if it's helped you out whatsoever. I will be doing... I think I'll do Spa next. Um, yeah, I do like Spa on ACC, it's pretty good. So, I'll do Spa. Um, not sure of the car yet, I might do it again in a Bentley because it's my favourite car choice at the minute. So let me know if you'd like any track or car combinations. Uh, maybe your favourite car I could possibly work on and see if I can help you out. Thanks guys, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks very much.